Oh, it is very dark here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lounging with Lisa. The video series that has me lounging. Oh, I lost it. I broke a wing. Has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Uh, my thought today is, look, my wing broke. I've got several more, clearly. Um, yes, I was just launching with uh, this. And that pine tree out there that's super tall. It landed near the top. And so I'm out there throwing a broom into the air to hit this, to knock down a branch and so on. The broom got stuck there for a minute, but it made its way down, clearly. It was just funny. This thing came twirling down, and the broom was left hanging. Just like I said briefly, but it was still cute. Anyhow, I'm just dropping in to say hello. I've been doing um, some of my little artwork today, and I'm um, just taking a... I cleaned that all up and thought I'd check in because I haven't checked in. Um, and remind everybody that tomorrow we are going to celebrate Nicholas. Uh, oh, let's see. I was going to say January again. July 22, 1946, ladies and gentlemen. Total fun. So that will be unfolding at 2 o'clock. Be there or be square. That's really all I have to report. I've just been um, doing my little uh, crafty art. Crart work. How's that? Crart. Or it could be called what aft or something yeah um most of the day i got a lot of stuff done yesterday so i wouldn't have to fiddle with a whole lot today and i could just spend the day doing that i've been listening to some really interesting um different scientific places different um there's a gentleman called uh his channel's called dissident science and that's fun he has a live gig on friday nights and you know he has different models and stuff like he takes to task some of the established science i guess you'd say and um that's sort of interesting you know we get used to just having one thing that's kind of been pushed all these years so it's sort of interesting to expand your mind even if you know even i don't even know what the heck real science is does anybody but you know what i mean it just helps to hear different theories to me anyway it might not to some people they might be just absolutely dead set on whatever the establishment scientists are saying but i'm not really i used to be but I'm kind of questioning my own existence lately, so it fits in with what I'm doing. But there's this electric universe theory that I find to be really interesting. The part that I find to be fascinating is the comparative mythology from around the world. It's really neat, though, and you have to open your mind, pretend like you've never heard of anything in your whole life. And I, like I said years ago, back in the late 70s when I started this uh, video channel, I don't... Um, you know, necessarily believe everything. I, I'm able as, uh, who was it? Um, Aristotle. Yeah, I used to hold up his quote every week. I'm able to entertain an idea without accepting it or to add on to that without just tossing it aside immediately and claiming it's insane. So to me, it's fun to, to listen to the different, um, I guess, theories uh, about this, that, and the other. So that's really what I've been doing, listening to that and... Um, painting and now flying my plane that has one wing you know this or helicopter this plane back here is so neat the one that does loops because when i aim it to the sky if i do it just right it'll come right in a loop-de-loop -loop and land right by my feet isn't that exciting ladies and gentlemen all right that's all i'm done lounging with lisa the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day join me join others drop your political identities let's focus on issues leave labels at the door research before you judge and remember that war is a racket. Bye-bye.